Hello Rail fans, and welcome to another French Fried Trains Minecraft Train Tutorial. Today, we're going to be continuing on with our Tri-Rail Train, and we're going to be building this Bombardier Bi-Level Coach Car. So let's get right into it here. So as usual, the first step is to take a dark oak stair for the coupler and get it attached up. Underneath that, a dark oak fence gate for an airline, and then dark oak fence on either side of the coupler for MU cables. Then on the next block back down on the rails, we're going to put two polished blackstone stairs on either side, facing forwards. So two here. And we're skipping the middle and two on this side above that a row of five netherite blocks and a crimson button on either side above that a row of five smooth quartz blocks next we'll do our wheels so down on the rails in front of this we're going to leave a gap of two blocks and then put a netherite on each rail with an end rod axle. Then we're going to take polished deep slate stairs and we need to leave a gap of two and put three facing this way. Then we'll swing around behind this. Two polished deep slate slabs in the middle and one on each side on the bottom hitbox. Then polished deep slate stairs upside down facing this way here. Then another set of netherite wheels with an end rod axle. Now we're going to take out cyan terracotta and come on this second block up and we're going to fill in the top middle three down to the end of the truck here. Now we're going to take out a block of calcite and on this top outside corner we're going to put three right here. This is going to represent the clouds. We'll do the same thing over here, and then we'll fill in on each side to the end of it with light blue wool, coming right down to the end of this section on both sides. Now we'll come on bottom in front of the wheels here with cyan terracotta again. And we're going to put five rows of three coming across the middle of the rail. So one, two, three, four, five. Next we're going to take out polished black stone stairs and on the end outside here we're going to put two here and then two on the other side. This will be where the first set of doors go. Then we'll put three light blue wool on either side of the outside of this bottom. Now we're going to take a prismarine brick stair upside down facing this way in front of that wheel. Above it, two light blue wool. Then another upside down stair facing this way and a prismarine brick slab. So it's going to look like this. Because this car kind of angles up in its octagon shape. On the very end of this, we're going to put diorite slabs under here. Then we'll come over and do the same thing on the other side here. So an upside down stair in front of this wheel here. Two light blue wool. Another upside down stair. Then a slab. And then three diorite slabs. Now come back down here. And these stairs are wrong. The stairs need to be upside down so we can actually place a door on them. Sorry about that. In front of the stairs, we're going to put two light blue wool on either side. And then we're going to raise it up another two by two on each side. Then, starting from the left here, we'll put three light blue wool on each side. And three calcite above that on each side. To continue on with the cloud pattern here. 
we leave above the stairs open so we can put in doors. Now come in this top section and fill in the middle three here with cyan terracotta. Right to the end of this section. There's actually a mid deck with some seats up there so this is kind of a tri-level almost. Now we're going to take out black stained glass panes and we're going to come off this top right corner here to measure out the car length. We're going to put two black stained glass panes coming down, then a light blue wool, another two stained glass panes, light blue wool, two more stained glass panes, light blue wool, two more stained glass panes, and then on this end here we're going to switch over and put two blocks of calcite on the end. So we should have four windows coming down the side. Under that, starting from the end and coming towards the window, three calcite here. And then under that, starting on the left, two calcite, light blue wool. Then another light blue wool on bottom, a calcite here and here. Then in front of this, we're going to make an upside down T-shape with light blue wool. Then a reverse L shape of calcite. And then we extend it out another column of two. And actually, we're going to knock out these top two. And we'll extend the bottom calcite out till it's under this window divider and we'll fill the top of this with light blue. Then on the end here fill this with a 2x2 two two of light blue. Now we're going to come up over here on this side and we're just going to copy the same pattern we did on the other side exactly over to this side. So calcite here, light blue, calcite, two light blue, two calcite. Then four calcite on this end here, and a full strip of light blue wool coming down. Then we'll go ahead and copy in our window pattern here with two calcite on the end, and fill in all the windows on this side. Then we're gonna swing down on the bottom middle, and fill in the very bottom middle three with our cyan terracotta coming down to the end of this. So we have a floor for the inside of the car here. We're going to extend it out another two, and on the sides, we're going to put upside down, outward facing, polished black stone stairs on either side, because there's doors down here as well. Then on the bottom outside edges, three light blue wool on either side. Go ahead and fill in the middle with cyan terracotta. Then we're going to come up next to the door, two calcite, then one calcite here, a light blue on the end, and calcite over to the end. So same thing, two calcite, light blue on the end, and calcite over to the end. In front of this on bottom, we'll put a netherite on each rail for the wheels, and an end rod axle. Then we need to leave a gap of two, and get three upside down polished deep slate stairs facing this way. In the middle, two polished deep slate slabs, and one on bottom on either side. Then, three upside down polished deep slate stairs facing this way here. And over here, another set of netherite wheels with an end rod axle. Now fill in this middle three above the truck with our cyan terracotta down to the end of this truck here. Then we'll extend the cyan terracotta out. I did three here, but it's really only supposed to be two. I'll realize my mistake later and fix it. On the bottom in front of it, we need two polished black stone on the side and two polished black stone stairs on this side. Above it, five netherite blocks and a crimson button on each corner. Above it, five smooth quartz. 
Then we turn around, stack up our coupler here. And we'll put dark oak fence gates in the middle under the coupler, and we need to get it in that middle gap under the stairs there. Then behind this, and we'll bring that airline right up the middle until it's by the wheels. Then a dark oak fence on either side of the coupler. Come back down to this end, and we gotta run our dark oak fence up the middle into these wheels. And here's where I realized my mistake in making that too long on the other end here, so I have to fix this. So like I said, I made this end one block too long, so I have to come through and delete everything off this end here. Then we'll delete this last row of cyan terracotta, and we'll move everything back. So rebuilding my stairs on either side here, and then netherite across that, crimson button on either side, smooth cords above it, then we'll spin around, rebuild the coupler, delete the ones we use for placement, put our dark oak fence gates back underneath here, and dark oak fences on either side of the coupler. Sorry about that mistake, guys. Then I just realized there's a little step ladder on the end. So right here, an upside down polished deep slate stair, and then a slab under it. We'll do the same thing on this side, an upside down stair here, and a slab under it. And I never did that on the other end. So let's go add that detail in. So down here, we'll knock out this slab, upside down stair, and a slab under it. Same thing over here. Knock out this slab here, upside down stair, and a slab under it. Then we'll come back down to this end here, and on each side, up here, we're gonna put two calcite. Then we'll fill the rest of this gap with light blue wool. Same thing over here. Then swing around underneath this in front of this wheel, an upside down prismarine brick stair, two light blue wool, another upside down stair, two prismarine brick slabs, and then a diorite slab. Same thing over here, upside down prismarine brick stair here, two light blue wool, another upside down stair, two slabs, and then a diorite slab. So it should be looking like that. Now we're gonna take out a stone button, put it on that wheel here, and on this wheel here, and we'll do the same thing on the other side. Stone button on this wheel, and then a stone button on this wheel down here. Then we'll come on this upper section here and fill in the middle three with cyan terracotta down to the end of this section. Now take out a birch door and put it on the middle of the end. Same thing down on this side, a birch door in the very middle. Then we'll switch over to warp doors and put two in this gap here, and two in this gap here. Same thing on the other side, two doors here, and two doors here. Now come down on the end and put a two by two of smooth quartz on either side of this door. We'll do the same thing over here, a two by two on each side of this door. Now we're gonna come down to this end of the car here, and we're gonna take out our calcite block to continue our cloud pattern. And on the side, right on the end here, we're going to make a column of two calcite. So two right here, and then we're going to come forward with a layer of calcite. One, two, three, four, and five. Then a light blue wall right here. 
Then above this here, starting from the end, two black stained glass panes. Then a calcite block. Two more stained glass panes. And then a light blue wall. Then we'll come over on the other side of this top section and copy this pattern directly over. So we have the same thing on both sides. Now starting in front of that section, above these lower windows, we're going to put a full row of light blue wool going all the way to the other end of the car here. Right up to the end. And we'll do the same thing on this side. So a full row of light blue wool. And bring it all the way back down until it meets up on the other side here. Now we'll come down and work on this upper mid deck on this other end here. On the end we're going to put a single light blue wool on each side. Then a black stained glass pane, light blue wool, two black stained glass panes, light blue wool, and another two black stained glass panes on each side here. Now we're going to swing down inside here with smooth quartz and we're going to put two coming up the middle and one over to the left and another layer. In front of this there's two extra seats and this gap polished deep slate stairs to make stairs coming up. That gets you to the mid deck but there's also an upper deck so turn this way and we need to make another staircase of two up here. We'll go ahead and put a smooth quartz on that side here, and then we'll go work on the other end. Then this end has a restroom, so we're going to put three smooth quartz up the middle, and one on the left hand back, and then another layer of that. Then an end portal in there for the toilet, and a door right here, and then back here, make our staircase coming up to the mid deck. Then same thing, turn around this way and another staircase coming up for the upper deck. We're going to put smooth quartz over there. Then down here there's these dividers, so in front of the door, stone brick wall with an iron bar above it. Turn around and we'll do the same thing in front of these doors, stone brick wall on either side with an iron bar above it. Then we're going to take out our warp stairs to be the seats because this is just a coach car. Nothing but seats in here. We're going to start in front of here, put a seat on each side, skip a block, and a seat on each side, and just keep bringing that forward here. Till we get right here. After we have that floor done, we'll come up over here and work on this mid-deck area. And here, I had a mistake up on that corner. The window's too long on this side here. So I had to knock out this end stained glass block here and replace it with calcite. Then we're going to take out light gray wool and a column of two on either side of the end. Then a stair here and here. Turn around, skip a block. Stairs facing this way. Turn around again and stairs facing this way. Because there's a few seats on this mid deck. We'll go down do the other end here. So light gray wool on either side. Then stairs facing this way. Skip a block, turn around facing this way. Turn around again facing this way. Then we'll put two smooth quartz in that gap here. Actually we'll knock out that one. We'll put one up there for now. Come down to the other end. We'll put a smooth quartz here and up here. So it kind of makes like this reverse L shape. Then on this end with the bathroom on the outside edge, on top we're going to extend light blue wool until it's over the first of the doors down there. We'll do the same thing on the other side here. And actually we'll extend it out farther until it's over the right hand side of the first window here. So bring your light blue down right above this window. In front of that we're going to put four calcite on each side. 
and then the rest of this layer will be light blue wool going all the way down till it meets up with this window over here. Same thing on this side. Fill the rest in with light blue wool. Next, we're gonna come inside here, and on the third block up, we're gonna come across with cyan terracotta. Three wide, and we're gonna bring that down to the other end. Down here, we'll come across where that bathroom door is. On this side, we'll leave a notch cut out right there so we can fit through these stairs. Then we're going to come down inside here and we're going to get out some torches to light this up. So I'm going to put a torch on each side over here. Then we'll come here, a torch on these window columns, on these ones. Down here, we'll put one right in the middle here. We'll also open this and put one in the bathroom. Then we'll come up here. So as you can see, we don't need this second step, so knock out that and the block next to it. Come down here, do the same thing. Then we'll knock out this first stair, and the one in front of it, we'll knock that out and replace it with a cyan terracotta here and we'll put a smooth quartz to the right. So we only need one stair there. And we can actually put another seat there now that we have room. Then we're gonna close the trap door on the side of this stair, just so that it looks like there's a railing here. And then we'll come up. We'll come down to work on this end. So, same thing, we don't need this outer stair. Knock out that, replace the middle block with cyan terracotta. Then we're going to go ahead and put another smooth quartz up there and close the trap door on the side of the stair. And here I came down to make sure the stairs work. They did on this end, but on this other end we didn't have enough room so I had to knock out this one block here so we can fit up the stairs. Now we're going to come outside on the sides of the top where there's the four windows under it. Line up windows that are two black stained glass panes long above those four windows here. Once you have those lined up, skip a block to the side and another two stained glass panes. Skip another block and another two. Do the same thing down here. Skip a block, two, skip a block, two. So now all our top windows are framed in here. Then we're gonna put five smooth quartz blocks across the top end of the car here. Come down here and do the same thing on the other end. Now on this end, starting from that window, we're gonna bring light blue wool forward until it's above the first calcite block underneath it here. Then a cobbled deep slate, because there's a vent. Two more light blue wool. Then we'll come forward here. A light blue between these two windows here. Light blue between the next one. Then calcite here, 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 and here. Then on this end, we're going to bring five light blue wool forward, then a cobbled deep slate, two light blue wool. Then we'll copy it across to this side, two light blue wool, cobbled deep slate, five light blue wool. Then our first window, black stained glass, two of them. And we'll keep alternating a block of space with two black stained glass until we have all of our windows copied over. through. Calcite between the windows here, 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 and here. Then a light blue wool here, light blue wool here, then light blue wool coming five forward, 
Gobble deep slate to a light blue wool. Now come on top with a prismarine brick stair and put one on each side facing this end above those vents. We do the same thing on the other end. So above these vents, a stair here and here. In front of the stair here, we're gonna do seven light blue wool. Then seven calcite across the top of the windows. Then one light blue wool, and then four calcite. And then light blue wool down the entire rest of it till you get to that stair on this end. So all the way down here. Then of course, we'll go over there to the other side and copy the pattern across the top on this side. So light blue wool all the way to here, four calcite, one light blue wool, seven calcite. And I'm actually gonna extend it out one more calcite on each side here. And then light blue wool to fill in here. Now we'll go ahead and come inside the end here, in front of the stairs, we're going to put a temporary block, doesn't matter what. So right here in front of the stairs, we put a temporary block. Then we're going to close a trap door on the side to continue the railing up and delete the temporary block. Then I'm going to delete this one next to the stairs here so it matches the floor and put in cyan terracotta. And then right here on the other side of the stairs, I'm going to put a column of two smooth quartz. Once we have that, we're going to swing around in front of this and we're going to make those same dividers that we did on the bottom. So aligned with this first column between the windows, stone brick wall on either side, and then iron bars. So now no one can fall down those stairs there, and it looks like there's a railing for the stairs going down. Then we're going to start alternating with warp stairs, every other one on each side to be the seats up here. And just keep bringing it down. We'll stop right here. Here, we're going to put in our stone brick walls on either side with our iron bars for a divider. Temporary block here. It on the wrong level. Temporary block here and close our trap door to finish our railing here. I'm going to put a bookshelf in this gap to be some storage. Then down in here we're going to put a torch here and here to light the mid deck. Then we'll come up and light this. We'll put a torch here and here. We'll come down here. A torch here and here. And then one more on this calcite walls here. Then we'll put a torch here and here for this mid deck. Then we'll fill in the middle three of these two rows on the mid deck with smooth quartz blocks. Come here in front of the stairs and we're going to fill in the whole top down to the other end on the middle three with smooth quartz blocks. Stop right in front of the stairs and then fill in these two rows on the mid deck as well. Then we're actually going to change these stairs to smooth quartz stairs here. And we're going to bring that five across so it covers this gap. Then two rows of five smooth quartz slabs in front of it like this so it steps up on the end there. We'll do the same thing down here. So we'll change these stairs into smooth quartz and bring it five across. And then two rows of five smooth quartz slabs on this end. Up here, a single row of white carpet. Then we'll fill in the rest of the roof down to the other end with smooth quartz slabs.
We stop one block before these stairs and put white carpet here. Now the whole roof is framed in here. Now the outside of the car already has our sky and cloud pattern, but we need to add in the palm trees. So we're gonna knock out these two above this stair and put in jungle wood. And then we're gonna come to the left by one and up one and knock out another two with more jungle wood for the beginning of the palm tree. We're gonna do the same thing on the other side. So these two above this stair and then over one up one and another two fill that with jungle wood. Then we'll knock out this block by the window and kitty corner down one and put in moss. Then this one, moss, kitty corner down one, knock out two and put in moss. Come up above the tree trunk and we're gonna knock out two going vertical above it and put in the moss blocks. Then one on each side of the top and then kitty corner down one to the left, replace it with moss. We're also going to knock out one more under this window here and then in between these windows. So the tree is looking something like this. Then we got to do it on the other side. So on this side, we're going to knock out this one and kitty corner down one and fill it with moss. Then two vertical above the tree, one on each side of the very top. Then to this left hand side we knock out two and one going down and one going over and fill all that with moss. Then this one here fill with moss as well. Now we'll come do the tree on the other end here so come down to this end and we're gonna come just in front of where this stair is knock out two on bottom put in jungle wood then kitty corner towards the door, another two that's up, like that. And we'll do it on the other side. So come down just in front of this stair, knock out these two, put in jungle wood, then over one and up one, another two, and put in jungle wood. Then we're gonna knock out this one next to the door here, and we're gonna put in a moss block. Then above this, we're gonna knock out these three and fill it with moss blocks. Then we're gonna come over to this side, knock out these two, put in moss. We'll knock out this one here, moss, and this one here, moss. Then we're gonna knock out this blue wool and put in a calcite. Then up here, we're gonna make this pattern of three here, here, and here fill it with moss. That's the tree for this side. Then we have to go do the other side. On this side, we'll knock out this one in front of the door, fill it with moss. Then here, a reverse upside down L shape filled with moss. And underneath this, a block of calcite. Then up here, we'll knock out these three, fill it with moss. Then we're gonna knock out these three in this pattern here and fill them with moss. And now the tree's done on this end. Then on the top right hand side of each of the side doors, we're gonna put a soul torch. Same thing here. Then we gotta do the other side. Same thing to the right hand side of the door, a torch here and here. Then we'll come work on the end of the car here. We're gonna put an iron trap door in front of the door here. And then starting below the iron trap door, we're gonna come up and over the door with polished black stone walls. Then we'll do the same thing on this end. So we'll put a trap door in front of this door. We're also gonna put one so we can walk across from the locomotive here. Then on the level of the trap door, we'll start coming up each side with polished black stone walls and over the top. We'll go ahead and take out a redstone torch on each top corner of the end for marker lights. And we'll do the same thing on the other end here. So a redstone torch on each top corner. Now we need to make some banners, so come into a loom 
with a light blue banner and blue die, a horizontal on top, and a vertical in the middle. New banner. Vertical on the left, top half blue, and a diagonal. New banner. Horizontal on bottom, horizontal on top, vertical in the middle. New banner. Vertical on each side, horizontal on top, horizontal in the middle. New banner. Vertical on the left, horizontal on bottom. New banner. Switch to orange die, put an orange diamond in the middle. Then go to light blue die and a horizontal on bottom. Then, still using light blue dye, we're going to put a light blue border around all of the letter banners. Then we can come out and put our lettering on the side of the car. So come up here on the side. Starting under the second window from the palm tree. We're going to put try, then our little orange symbol, and then rail. right in the middle like that and then we'll come over and we'll do the same thing on the other side so on this side we start under this window here try the little orange symbol and then rail and there we have it folks we've completed our Florida tri-rail bi-level coach car here I know this was a fairly complex build due to the nature of the sky and palm tree pattern on the side of the car, but I think the results are quite satisfying here. And if you're building this train, feel free to copy in a few more of these cars, however long you want your train to be, but we will be building a different type of coach car for this train, and also a streamlined cab car for the other end. Thanks for watching, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and everyone have a great week. Stay safe out there.